So now uh, I will open for questioning uh, and I will um, uh, start with myself. Uh, my, my governor first, thank you, governor. You, um, I, can, I must acknowledge that you went uh, uh, on time, you spent less than five <laughs> minutes on your testimony. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you. But, Governor, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your kind words also. But when we talk about sending large amounts of money, federal money to the Northern Marianas and other insular areas, a concern is accountability, sir, making sure the money is used as intended and does not go astray. I have been trying to track the lowest wages assistance you were awarded last November. Uh, how, how much were you awarded for lowest wages, sir? Um, you, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, Congressman, thank you for that for that question. I'm not certain to the exact dollars, but I can definitely get that to you as soon as we can in the morning. Right. Okay. Thank you. And I understand that money has was transferred to the Commonwealth account. Uh, if I don't, if I have it correct. Yes. Okay. And that as that program started, has as any would you know how much of that money has been paid out to unemployed workers in the Marianas? Uh, I'm not exact sure of the the exact dollars on that. Uh, but I did. Uh, I know that we wanted to push hard. Uh, now that we got the hundred percent. Uh, waiver. waiver, but we do it, intend to to actually do that uh, before we got the waiver. Uh, but uh, having the hundred percent waiver is definitely help. Uh, Thank you. Yes, sir. I agree. Thank you, uh, Governor. Uh, following today's hearing, uh, each committee member will have the opportunity also to ask some additional questions. Responses are expected to be provided in writing. So. Can we, sir, get your commitment today that you will provide this committee your answers for the record to this and other questions? Yes, Congressman. I would be happy to to uh, furnish uh, any of my testimony and my response. Uh, yes, sir. So thank you. Thank of you. course. Okay, thank you. So by our account, uh, the Northern Marianas uh, is receiving roughly $750 million from the six different COVID-19 relief bills enacted into law so far. And uh, we have received another three quarters of a billion dollars from FEMA for disaster recovery since uh, 2018. Yes. And this is a lot of money, uh, well over five times our, our Commonwealth government's annual budget. So we certainly want the people, our people, to have the resources needed to get through the pandemic and the typhoon disasters and to build back better. But it is difficult to see exactly where all this money is going and whether it is being targeted on to your, your own strategic goals. So could we get please get a proper accounting from you of how your administration has spent, has distributed this federal assistance dollars through the Commonwealth? And for what specific purposes and how that spending matches up to your comprehensive economic development strategy? And we would like your answer to be an official part of the hearing record. Uh, could you give us that overview, um, uh, Governor Torres, please? Oh, you know, Congressman, thank you for that question. Uh, you know, going over to a lot of the subsections that and even the amount that you mentioned, there's a lot to, to address and to cover. Um, Definitely, uh, we have to uh, give you a full accountability, and we're happy to do that, as well as the spending plan uh, moving forward. Uh, it's going to take uh, probably a couple weeks uh, to be accurate on some of the, the infrastructures that we need here. I know that your office also is requesting some additional within uh, the other infrastructure questions and concerns, and we want to address that uh, as much as we can and as accurate as we can. But definitely moving uh, moving forward, uh, not just the recovery that we, we needed from Siphon U2 uh, and Mancut, but definitely uh, the CDBGDR grant and now with the ACP. Uh, and thank you again for all the hard work you've done. Yeah, thank you, Governor. And I do understand it may take a little bit of time, but uh, if we would just appreciate uh, getting that. Uh, um, we... Um, and uh, Governor, look, both you and I, our testimonies agreed that much of the public infrastructure in our Northern Marianas is outdated, inefficient, and in major need of repair or replacement. 
Uh, your testimony paints, paints a great picture of the current poor state of our infrastructure. So what would you say are our most pressing needs and how would you prioritize what should get attention and funding first? Thank you, Congressman. You know, if you look at, uh, you mentioned about our CHC, our power water distribution. Uh, again, uh, we don't have the potable water here. Uh, that alone would see our utility is going to cost $800 million. Our airport needs, again, uh, a new runway, a facility. Our hospital, we only have one hospital with built 1986. We have roughly 86 beds. Uh, not you know not to mention again the assistance that Rodentina needs. Um, we have a lot here that that we need uh, to to build back and uh, and we really need to push again uh, hard in making sure that we have the right workforce. Uh, and having this so much funds, it it is a challenge to get construction workers here because as you know uh, the FEMA funds that we have to build homes is a challenge in itself. We have to bring construction workers from the U.S. Uh, and some of these uh, construction workers, if you look at per wages, it's about 100 to $130 per hour just because we don't have the workforce that we need here. So the project, uh, even building uh, schools for our public school system, NMC, our road projects, uh, even if you give us you know, a lot of funds, but our challenge is, is again, making sure that we have the workforce and thank you for the 3,000 CW workers. Yeah, thank you, Governor. Uh, and yeah, we'll, uh, I have other questions, uh, but uh, I agree with you. And uh, we already started looking at the 3,000 workers. And FEMA has also commented that we may need to extend that and, and open it for other purposes. Thank you, Governor. My time is over. Uh, I'd like.